Germany 2. <coughs> Sweden 1. Germany looked like they were about to go for an early exit. Courtesy of Sweden shocking everyone in the first half. But Germany basically showing the world what they're really capable of. And basically fighting back in the second half to win it. Basically stealing it. Uh, let's get stuck in it because I'm not going to spend a lot of time on Germany. Um, Sweden, um, Swedish striker basically lobbed, lobbed Manuel Neuer, basically chipped the ball over Neuer as he was coming out. Ball went over into the back of the net now. If you chip Manuel Neuer, you're a good player. Um, Manuel Neuer basically had no chance, the ball was chipping over him, Neuer had no chance of keeping it out. Um, so they basically playing Germany all over the park in the first half. Dominating their side of the pitch, dominating the midfield, dominating the Germ Germany's the final third, uh, taking that back line apart. Uh, Boateng getting booked, obviously, um, creating a few chances, but not able to put it into the back of the net. They only got one goal out of them all. So at the, at half time, we were, I think we we're all, I was thinking, surely Germany are not going out here. Surely they can't go out. Surely they're going to have to. Show something to show something to the world, to the world. Show us all that they do want to stay, they do want the cup. Second half came. Germany did show that. Marco Royce scored an equaliser shortly after the game started again. Courtesy of his left knee. Um, a bit of a, it was basically it was pretty much a tap in for uh, Germany. Tap in for Royce. Um, this was genuinely this was genuinely a game of two halves. Sweden dominating the first half, Germany dominated the second half. Um, one or two chances for Sweden, but Germany pretty much dominated the game. Um, dominated possession, dominated man marking really. Um, getting into the game a little bit late. Um, Boateng, Boateng eventually got sent off. I think it was by a second yellow, so he's got a one game ban. For me, Jerome Boateng was this. Being, or being linked to Manchester United. Boateng is, was the weak link to that back line. Because he was trying to be a bit of a baller, trying to be a bit of a player. Playing long balls and everything. And it wasn't working out for him. Boateng was the poorest of that back line. He, in fact, you know the poorest of the back line? Jerome Boateng was the poorest player on that pitch. The poorest player in that pitch. Um... He gets sent off. But he's gonna be banned for the next match. Um, eventually, they gained the game. Germany gained the free kick later in the second half. And let me tell you, what a free kick that was! Um, just literally the angle of it. Literally just curled it right to the inside. What a curler! Of a free kick by Tony Cruz. Um, you would expect Tony Cruz to keep Germany in it. Two one to England. Germany stole that win. Go away bit. Um, for me, like I said, Taylor two halves. Sweden dominated the first half, and Germany dominated the second half. Really, it was a Taylor two halves. Um, then after the game, reported that FIFA will be. Looking into some disciplinary hearings for two German coaches for a, for some antics after the final whistle, I believe. Um, I missed that bit. I only saw the news this morning, this afternoon. Sorry. Um, about FIFA looking into some dis disciplinary hearings for the two of them. Uh, I don't know what happened, so I can't comment on it. Um, but I'm going to keep it short for, for Germany today. Because to be quite fair, I can't be bothered talking about them. Because I'm not going to Germany have bored me this for this tournament. They really have. The style of play has just absolutely bored me to tears. Uh, can I see them qualifying? Yes. Can I see them getting far? Maybe. Will they get to the final? Can't see it. Uh, but I can see the way some of the underdogs are playing. If they get drawn with Germany. If they keep playing boring like they have so far during the tournament. Then I can see the underdogs stealing the spotlight. And I can see Germany heading for a shocking exit.